it's Dana and welcome back to day two of the holiday card series. As we stated in day one, we are working on color palettes versus technique. So let's go ahead and get into the, to today's color palette. So the color palette I'm sharing today is also from the color cube. I will have that information linked in the description box below. So this is a nice cool color palette where we have a lot of purples and bluey purples and cooler greens. So this is a color palette we're going to work on. So let me show you some example cards. So the first example I have here, I created this card using a older product from Pink Fresh Studio. This is called Eucalyptus Fantasy. Now this here has a mixture of markers on it. So remember I said you can use your markers or you can use inks or cardstock. So this product here is this stamp set right here. And as you can see, I went ahead and I colored this larger image and it was able to blend in those purples and those blues very easily. And I ended up putting in a very simple holiday sentiment. So remember, you can use those non-holiday stamp sets to create your holiday cards. So this is example number one. Example number two is using this beautiful older stamp set from Gina K. And this is called Friendly Silhouettes. And for this one, I use a lot of inks to create that color palette. It's a very clean and simple color palette and these colors blend perfectly together. So as you can see, this would be more of a summer kind of scene because it has like the butterfly in here. But again, make sure to pull in some of those older products that you have and create cards with them. Just don't let them sit there. Again, just using a simple, clean and simple holiday sentiment here works perfectly for this card. And for our third card, I'm bringing in a stamp set that was a collaboration between Hero Arts, Pocono Pam and myself. This one is called Better Together. This is again, an older stamp set, but I absolutely love pulling in those stamp sets that are not basically Christmas related, but they're so easy to create when you, all you have to do is add a sentiment. Now I brought in a lot more of that color with some ink and I was using the Swirly Stars stencil from Hero Arts. And if you need to have some stamp sets, you can grab the Christmas Holiday from Hero Arts. This is a perfect, perfect stamp set for the holidays and for those really great sentiments. And you can also use the Wishing Tree. This one has some beautiful sentiments as well. All right, now since we have our non-traditional color palette and our non-traditional stamp sets, let's go in to see how we create this color. Okay, let's get into the colors. So I start first with my cardstock. So we have Lavender by Simon Says Stamp, Amethyst by Hero Arts. We have Juniper from Concord and Ninth. And then we also have Peacock from Concord and Ninth. Very pretty color palette here. Now when we come in with the inks, I'm going to stick with Concord and Ninth and do a Peacock. I'm going to do the juniper, but then I'm going to mix things up. I'm going to do the amethyst of the Simon Says Stamp, and then I'm going to do the lilac of the Simon Says Stamp. So as you can see, this is picking up that beautiful color combination. Now, again, like I mentioned, if you want to remove a color out, you can perfectly do that. There's no reason why you have to have all the colors because you know that these colors are going to blend seamlessly. You can omit a color if you like to, but this is a beautiful and simple color palette. Now let's get into our markers. All right, let's come in with our markers. So as you can see, I have my Copics here and my Ola markers here. So I have V01, V09, V12, VG11, and VG78. For my Ola markers, I have V11, V41, V26, VG21, and VG76. I'll go ahead and leave these here if you want to take a screenshot, but these colors work perfectly with that color palette. Again, like I said, if you want to remove 
one of those colors, you can do that and you're still going to have a seamless blend. So remember, if you're using the color cube, which I'll really get into detail on the last day, and I'll also share some other links to where I get my color inspiration. This is a perfect thing for you to have in your stamp room because it's going to help you to create seamlessly beautiful cards. So let's go right back to our card samples one more time. We have this one here, and then we have the one that we did with Gina K products. And then lastly, we have the one with Pink Fresh. Now, as you can see, I have all of those colors, right? But look how different the cards look. It all depends on how much color you want to use in each product or project. So don't forget to go over to day one so you can see our first color palette. And I will see you guys back here in a couple of days for color palette number three. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.